Libra, what it be, bruh? It is Scorpio Reds. I am back at you right again for mid month March. Yes, indeed, to find out what is popping and what is dropping off for March the 15th through the 31st. Shout out, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the like, shares, and subscribe. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Um, if you would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink down there at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and if you want to send a love donation, you can do so. My PayPal information is in the descriptions. Let's find out what's going on for my Libras, all right, for mid-month. March, all right, Father God, please give us guidance for my Libras. Thank you so much for bringing us here in this collective spirit. We are feeling triumphant, we are feeling victorious, Father God. We are feeling the movement of the universe moving things in our favor. Y'all see our growth. I feel like Father God, you are congratulating us and continuing to push the Libras forward in 2019 towards happiness and just full success. Full success will be accomplished this year sweet success and sweet victory father god please give the sign of libra guidance for march the 15th through the 31st thank you again for all of the messages in the past present and future thank you for allowing us to rest thank you for allowing us to regain source of wisdom and refill our faith during this journey please give the libra's guidance for mid-month thank you again all right let's get into this libra libra what is he baby let's see Right, Father God, please give me guidance for the Libras. I don't know why I can't shuffle the page of wands. Might be getting some passionate messages, uh, Libra. Might be getting some messages from something that is very young, very new. From someone that is might possibly maybe your age or you might be you might consider it young to date someone your age because I think Libras like older men for some reason or older women. Why are these cars just don't want to connect? All right, Father God, please give me guidance for Libra. That's a lot, okay? So getting over that mental that mental um anguish getting over their anxiety okay Libra in a place right now where there's been an ending there's been an ending there's been a death there's been a, a funeral and that might be the repast i don't know so <laughs> like you're mentally at your wit's end you have grown you have given up on a situation that is long gone and dead um, this is something that's been buried to rest and there's been a there's been an ending in a mental sense where it's just like I don't think you can give any more of your energy to a situation someone is coming to um, untie you and help you from this burden that has you trapped and mentally <laughs> bound to this situation almost so you know, this is their air sign. This is that Libra for real, for real. Y'all are trapped in a lot of mental thoughts right here. Not only that, whatever this situation was that ended, it left you in unstable, unsturdy ground. You see, it's all muddy. And like if you step, you some of it's solid. Some of it might sink into a puddle. So it's like you literally had to get help and assistance. Somebody, I feel like somebody had like a brother or some family member or friend or somebody said, look, you've been down and out dealing with this shit for too long. Like, you got bags under your eyes. Like, I understand that you feel completely backstabbed and portrayed by this person, but it's time for you to get over it. And it's like the person is not even around you no more. Thank God you got them out of your presence in the physical sense. You just got to get out of your mind, honey. So let me help you because you wrapped up in tissue paper. This ain't even nothing that can really keep you trapped and bound like you have enough strength to like just wiggle your arms and get out of that shit and just pull the blindfold off but i don't know why you fight with yourself to let this shit go so let me come and cut this shit for you since you scared to do it you know so it's just like your family and your friends like look okay we're not doing this no more i'm tired i'm tired of seeing you do this look 
The world is changing in your favor, Libra. You see it. You see the world changing around in your favor, girl. Okay? And if these are Libra men, same thing. Listen. And it's a fixed energy here. It's something that is going to be for the long haul. So if the world is moving in your favor and it's about to be a brand new transition, a brand new set of resources, a brand new destination, a brand new path, a brand new flavor, like it's going to be completely anew, you know, that chapter is over. So it's just you need to let it go. And you have to understand, like, you legitimately have all of the resources that you need. So as above, so below, what you think will create itself on the universe. So be careful of your thoughts. Be careful of what you're manifesting. Because if you want to keep yourself trapped here, you will keep. That's what you, you know, the world will give you more of that energy. But this person is coming to you like, look, no. Your new world doesn't consist of this. You need to break free of this. And I'm going to help you because apparently you cannot do this by yourself. And I don't know why. You need to be. Look, there go that will of fortune. There go the will of fortune. You need to be to yourself. And you need to be withdrawn and reserved. I don't think that you need to be out entertaining people. It's just time for you to. It's not even time for rest. It's just time for just self-discovery and studying. You need to study and understand how the world works. How this new world that is going to be presented to you operates and you really need to have that high priest high priestess transition where okay I'm going to put it to you like this after everything that you learn after someone having to break free break you free from this situation to get you to this point of new world of the new world you need to sit back and discover what it was that got you to that point and everything because once you understand this journey and the true secret message of what god and the world was trying to teach you you're going to come out with this infinite wisdom almost where it's like you can teach others and you can help guide and and and, and, and provide a, a certain source of wisdom to other people because Throughout this journey, like once you really break free and you accept this new world and you move forward in this new journey, you will really be a totally different person and you'll be smarter for it. All right. This Wheel of Fortune was in the reverse when I had this. But first thing that you have to do, I feel like you have to address certain demons. You know, you see how that little demon is laying up there at the top of that wheel? You got to address something. It's something that is dark and is deep within you where you had to get assistance to be cut free. That's what you need to deal with, Libra. Because this was a situation where, and I want to say, I want to say that whoever this, this, whatever this situation is in the, in the past, it has some type of mental control over you still. And it might be because you haven't stopped communicating with this person. If you're still communicating with this person in any, any type of way, that is what's stopping your, your world. Your world is changing regardless. You can't stop it. But what karma will stop is your fortune coming to you if you don't really take this time to really search deep within because some people feel like you know i done got cut out of this situation i need to go and get up under something else nah don't do that you need to be to yourself you need to self-reflect you need to go within your own self to search for that inner guidance and that inner wisdom because the answers is not from nobody. You can't find it nowhere else. It's, it's within you. It's within you. It's within you and you have the resources to move forward. But are you willing to do and, and dig deep to fight with those inner demons and face that fucking demon of what kept you bounded like that? That will the fortune not gonna turn for you. You gotta stop communicating with these motherfuckers. These type of people that you were communicating with, they were never gonna offer you nothing for real. 
they dangled it in front of your face like yeah every time it's very toxic they dangled this in front of your face but they really wasn't moving at all they wasn't moving at all honey they really wasn't and that's why you were in this situation and i feel like right now libra you possibly are dealing with two different individuals and you're in a constant crossroads right now because you can't decide what to what and who to choose from and you like purposely and willingly have this blindfold over you and you're trying to act like you don't see what's going on you see what's going on because you're still dealing with someone from your past that you need to stop communicating with because they ain't offering you and they ain't offering you shit and you got someone that helped you out of the situation now you got that person that helped you out of the situation battling with this bitch ass motherfucker that got you in the situation for what For what? If I was the person that helped you, if I was this person, I'll fuck around and leave you. Because what you not going to do, I found you like this. I know I found you like this. And I picked you up after this person literally mentally slayed you. You were heartbroken, backstabbed, used, abused, abandoned. I had to pick you up. And show you that that ended for a reason. There's something better out there for you. But still, still, you were mentally bound and you were mentally trapped. And I helped you. I helped pull you out of the situation only to show you a brand new world. A brand new world. Only thing you had to do was trust yourself and get yourself together because all of this shit was stuff in the mind. You had to get that inner wisdom, that self-love, that inner strength together. But you couldn't face your demons and stop communicating with someone in the past who wasn't offering you shit. And now you got me battling with somebody that shouldn't even be in your presence. And it's like I cut you out. I cut you out of this tissue paper so you can move. But you willingly kept that blindfold over your face. So you, you act like you can't see that this person ain't shit. And you act like you can't see what you're doing to me. That you put me in this battle where I'm having to. I just don't feel like that's right Libra. That's not right. And this person that's communicating with you, they're just trying to use sex too. And trying to get, it's, it's about sex. And you need to stop communicating with that person because I feel like they try to control you with sex. And you see that demon land sitting up. No, this person kind of tries to control you with sex and they never offer you anything. It's a goofy ass motherfucker. Goofy. Mm -hmm. Give me guidance, Father. Please. Give me guidance and love for Libra. Now, I, if this don't resonate with you, with the two different people that is battling, that you're in this crossroads with, and you can't make a decision on who to choose, and, you know, it's not for you, it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you, but I'm just telling you, Libra, like, bruh, this person went through so much to help you to get you to this point, man. Don't, don't. That's not fair. That's not fair, Libra. Give your relationship a chance. This person that's been helping you, this person that's been showing you this, this brand new situation that, that helped you be strong and, and helped you move forward. Give yourself a chance. Because right now you're putting in a situation where the love that you deserve might desert you. And you are lovable and you do deserve love, but you're not, you're not showing it. I feel like you're playing too much. I feel like you're playing too, with fire. And I don't feel like you're being mature in this situation. Because it's somebody that you need to stop communicating with that's not offering you nothing, regardless of how you put it. And you're not paying attention to the red flags. I feel like something is right in front of your face and you know that this person doesn't mean you know well. And I feel like every time this person comes into your life, bad things happen. Where you might have had offers and 
happiness and joy and light was coming into your life every time you start communicating with this person that you shouldn't be giving any of your energy to a lot of shit just start it's like I feel like you're playing with fire and you, you, you're, you're willingly being blinded to something that you know you know this person doesn't deserve your love and you should stop playing around with this person you're like you're playing with fire you're playing with fire Ooh, Libra, you're playing with fire, baby. You are playing with fire. You don't see that this is going to come to an end very soon. But all of this shit is going to come to a head very soon. Because as you can see, this person that you're dealing with, this person that put all this energy to help you get your mind together, they're literally willing to fight for you. They're willing to fight and battle for you. Don't act like you don't see that. Don't act like you don't see that this man loves you. And I feel like there's a Libra man that's going through this shit. Like you're fighting and you're battling for the love of this person. And this person is acting like she's completely blinded to the... Like that shit ain't cool. Whoever's going through this, you need to love yourself first. Love yourself first. Because if you love yourself first, you will see who truly loves you and means you something. Means you something well. You need to forgive and you need to learn from the situation in the past and you need to move forward. You need to move forward and you need to keep an open mind about future love, true love, real love. And you need to express your love to the person that deserves it. To the person that is as given to you as you are given to it. Do you understand what I'm saying, Libra? Please give me some deeper insight in regards to love for Libra. But you got to stop communicating with this ass, no, bro. This person ain't offering you shit. If anything, they're just trying to take advantage from me with their king of pentacles in reverse. This motherfucker's a common. man. person ain't got shit of their own, so they trying to find motherfuckers. You know, that's that devil sitting on top of your world, honey. You need to get rid of this motherfucker. You need to surrender to what? You need to surrender to what? Is you need to surrender that who and what is showing you love in the material world. You understand? Not what people say they're gonna do. Fuck what a person say they're gonna do. Who's the one that's showing you that shit? Which one of these two is showing you? Which one of these two is showing you that they love you in the material world? And it's not about money, it's about their investment in you. What they're physically showing you with their actions. Which one is showing you that they love you? And I'm, just, and I'm not just talking about what some fucking dick or some sex. Nah, that's not, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about who sex is the best. Surrender to, oh gosh, Jesus, help me, Father, forgive me. To balancing of the skills. You got to balance and the answer is no, bruh. Like, if you think this situation in the past, that is ever going to be any balance there. No. 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 You have to move forward. And you have to find balance within yourself. Where you're able to forgive and learn from this past situation. This shit is dry. It's cracked. It's scaled. It's burnt. It's dust. It's done. It's dumb. Okay? The Libra scales. Libra, you're about balance. Okay? There you are in your own freaking reading. This shit is dried up. It's dried up. So the answer is no. There will not be any moisturizer. You cannot... What? Stop. The answer is no. Stop trying to balance an already dry and done situation. The answer is no. Stop it. Okay? Surrender to who what? Ugh, I'm not repeating myself. I'm not repeating myself. Stop holding on to this person. You're delaying the separation. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. That fifth dimension in reverse. I feel like you are in a fantasy world almost like you're not in touch with reality 
or what spirit is trying to show you on a physical mental spiritual and emotional realm like you just not getting it like you 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 you're not getting it you're not getting it and it's like a hard head make a soft ass like you going to fuck around and this person that's been helping you this person that has literally guided you that has been the light in your life that has guided you and helped you throughout this transition. You're going to lose this person. And it's going to reset your fortune all over again. And you're going to go into a new chapter of your life. Having to learn the same lesson all over again. And having to wait. <laughs> for that new chapter in your life. And if every chapter, a stage of your life. If you just keep repeating the same lessons and you keep going through misfortune, that's up to you, Libra. You have to get balance within yourself. You got to get balance within yourself, sweetie, for real. I, I don't even want no more for here. I don't want no more from right here. I don't want no more from right here, bro. Oh, my gosh. Please clarify this spread for me. I'm just, because it's, it's bothering me right now, because it's like, you got a whole new opportunity for me in front of you. Like, why, why are you going to blow? Why? This person don't deserve you. You shouldn't even be talking to this person. This is not your soulmate, bro. This is false love, Libra. Do you understand me? Libra, we already been through this before. You already know this. And there's some shit going on in the background that you don't know. You already know the secrets that you... You think you know everything that you know about the situation. But you don't know everything. Bruh, like... Libra, you are playing with fire, bruh. You are playing with fire. You are playing with fire, bruh. And I feel like you too scared. I feel, well, I feel like, what you too scared to succeed? You too scared to be happy? You just ravages continue repeating the same fucking cycles because it feel comfortable to you is that is that what that is about and i really do feel like the situation that you in in this past situation you were fucking people and that other person you were dealing with was fucking people y'all both were just all over the place because there was no fucking respect it's no respect there's no fucking respect in this person that wouldn't offer you shit there's no fucking goddamn re Fucking spec. This person disrespectful as shit. You're always in a place where you're impatient. You're dealing with extreme stress, extreme anxieties, extreme insecurities. You don't know if you're coming or going. You're absolute fucking. Like this person almost put you to a path where you're just like almost psychotic ass fucking rat. Like, oh my God. Chasing somebody trying to figure out what's going on. Not even really being guided in your intuition by someone that don't fucking love you. This person does not love you, Libra. I cannot stress it the fuck to you enough. And your world has opened up and you are allowing this person to weasel back into your energy to bring more deceitful bullshit around you just to throw it in your face again just how much they don't fucking love you this is like a glutton for fucking abuse it's a glutton for punishment this <laughs> is the ace of pentacles in reverse there would be no new beginning here with this person why you keep fooling yourself to think this shit you're gonna blow you're gonna blow it y'all might be dealing with a pisces bruh Y'all might be dealing with a, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a fucking Capricorn. <sighs> night of fucking night, night of cups, in a in a page of wands. Like I'm trying to tell you, this person is a playboy. This person is a playboy or a playgirl. They're a finesser. They're very chivalrous. They know how to use their good looks and their charms. To suck people in. And all they want is sex. They just sending you all of these wands. They just want sex. This person just wants fucking sex. Because they probably ain't been with you in a while. And they gonna be right back out. 
Okay? This person is immature. It doesn't have any longevity there. And this person doesn't love you. It's just about... I can't. I can't. Please let me know what's going on in the shadows of Libra. Like, why? Why we can't get past this situation with this person, Father God, please. Why can't we get this past? We, ugh, I can't even talk. And I'm sorry, Libra, because y'all say I'm a little bit frustrated. Because you have such a great opportunity in front of you. And I do not want y'all to blow it, yeah. This shit is dry. It's cracked up. Please pay attention to who loves you, bruh. To who's showing you love. And if ain't nobody showing you love right now, if you don't have nobody else in your energy, it's about you choosing yourself and you loving yourself and stop playing with fire, bruh. Why just to have somebody around? Come on now. Because you feel an emptiness. Like I said, because you just... <sighs> so it's like... I'd rather have, and you're haunted by this old relationship. Repel. You're haunted by it. I feel like the person you were dealing with was I treated treated you at almost like they were repelled by you, and you felt. There was a sense of emptiness in that relationship. There's a sense of emptiness outside of that relationship. You were haunted by it. I felt like you tried to make this shit work. This person repelled you. They were, they were repelled by the situation. They didn't want nothing to do with you. This person came around and started helping you, trying to pull yourself together. This new world started turning in your favor. You started to be more reserved and, you know, start taking yourself back from this idiot. And they seen that the world was turning and that you were moving fast and far away from this situation where you weren't feeling as empty anymore you weren't being haunted by this anymore and it's like as soon as you were realizing like as soon as they were realizing like you weren't really tripping no more it's like oh let me let me let, let me stop this person from thinking that they going somewhere because they think that they about to turn around and move forward with some good fortune without me. No, 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 no. Let me send all of this communication to them and try to see if I can lure them in with sex to confuse them a little bit and kind of slow them down a little bit. I ain't really going to offer them nothing, but I know it's going to put them in a crossroads where they ain't going to be able to make a move real quick. I might be able to get my ass back up in there. Because this person think they're going somewhere. They ain't going nowhere to find no good fortune without me. Before this really good fortune turn around, I'm about to hop up in this ride. I'm going with them. Because I know this person feels empty. I know this person feels haunted without me. And I know I turned this person away. And I treated this person like I was repelled by this person. I feel like this person treated you like you weren't enough for them. unavailable yeah this person treated you like you were un like they were unavailable to you but now they want to be now that now now it's like hold on hold on you know what i'm saying i'm available now <laughs> i'm available now this is a piece of shit this person is a piece of shit and right here it says insecure this person feeds off of your insecure you'll always be secondary they know you're still fixated on this situation <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They know you're still fixated on this situation with them. And that's their power. Now they want to be available after they pushed you away and they were repelled, right? <laughs> they feel that you're insecure. They they controlled you by keeping you down and keeping you insecure. And keeping you second. Because guess what? If you always got something to compete for, you know, they, they got the upper hand. Because they can get the lavish gifts. And, you know, because people don't understand. When they can keep you intoxicated and fixated on them. And always playing second fiddle. 
and always feeling like you're competing, you always got something to fight for. That, that, that hamster going to keep running on the wheel because they feel like they got something to run for. They got something to run for. I got to show this person that I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> oh, fucking boy. Listen. Spirit, please give me some comments. Please give me some direct guidance for Libra, please. Ugh. You need to fill yourself up with self-love. If you fill yourself up with self-love, there will be no room for emptiness. You need to come to God humbly. And you need to fill yourself up with Him and self-love. You know what to do, God damn it. You know what to do. You fucking know. If you don't snatch this goddamn, you know what to do. If you let this person back in your life, Libra, when you got somebody that is willing to fight for you and that is helping you throughout this transition in this new world and is literally watching you and helping and aiding you and applauding you as the world and the will of fortune is turn around in your favor, I would be so mad at y'all. I'm ending this. I have nothing further to say. I'm dead ass serious, y'all. I'm trying to, oh my God. Please give me some additional energy surrounding this to just help Libra out. Please give, give me guidance for Libra, please. Mm -mm. The ship, the fifth chakra. You better open up your, you better use your voice. You better stand up for yourself. I think you need to tell this person, whoever this, this asshole is, is trying to come back. If you don't open up your fucking mouth and tell him, motherfucker, fuck you. You abandoned me while we were in the relationship. I finally let this shit go. It took me forever. Even after you were gone, feeling trapped and burdened to the situation, I finally got someone to come in my life to show me love and actually give a fuck about me. Give a fuck about me. All the thing you did was take from me, you fucking bitch, and bring negative karma and bad luck and bad energy into my life. Stop fucking communicating with me, you piece of shit. You ain't offering me nothing. You never had nothing to offer to me. Only thing you can offer me is bad luck and bad karma and taking from me. And you think that you're about to go on this journey with me when my fucking a new opportunity and you see me traveling to a new world and, 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 and the wheel of fortune is turning in my favor you think that you're gonna hop on and come on this ride with me you can suck my fucking ass you can suck my fucking ass Libra if you don't open up your mouth and tell this person to get the fuck <sighs> Jesus Christ. This person is blocking your blossoming abundance. Do you understand? If you get back into a contractual agreement with this person and commit yourself to this person, they are blocking your temple path when you right there at the fucking door. You will continue to be envious. They will hold you down and your mental state will reflect itself on your outside appearance. Do you see this person's goddamn fabrics? You look like a goddamn beggar and you got a dish full of pearls in your hand. You you have everything that you need. You're a fucking goddess. You're a queen. You're an empress. Don't let nobody dig themselves in your fucking mind. Do you see this? This person dug themselves in your fucking mind and put you in an unstable fucking ground where you couldn't get your footing together to get your mind to fucking gather. This is a... Oh my God. I cannot fucking do it. Your door to personal happiness in abundance isn't that what it said and personal healing is being blocked as long as you continue to communicate with this person libra if you don't get strength your cornucopia is right around the fucking door your cornucopia is with this person that is helping you that person that you was with did not appreciate you never appreciate you the person that you with appreciate you they care about you if you do not 
fucking listen to me. You are not going to pay attention. This storm is going to run up through your fucking ass and you're going to lose everything that you've been fucking fighting for, God damn it. Pay attention to your heart and love your fucking self, Libra. God, I can't do it no more. I cannot do it. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. I love y'all. And the only reason why I'm getting angry is because I love y'all. I swear to God. Libra. 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 I'm begging you, young. I'm begging you, Libra. I'm fucking begging you. I'm begging you. Please stop communicating with this person from your past. Please. They're not offering you nothing. You know it, Libra. Stop fooling yourself. Use your voice. I don't went card after card after card. Libra, please. I'm begging you. Love yourself more. Know that you deserve more. Do you understand? Fill yourself up with God. Fill yourself up with self-love. Even if that person that is that is in that car fighting for you is not around. This person that is helping you is not around right now. God is helping you. Do you understand? I need you to feel that positive energy around you. I need you to feel that help. I am helping you. I'm begging you. Do not let this person control your fucking mind again, young. I love y'all, Libra. I fucking love y'all. I love you, honey. Take care of yourself. Whew, if this video resonated, y'all, you know what to do. God is telling you that. He's holding that light up for you. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. That's why I'm trying to tell you that high priestess, God is telling you to withdraw and trust on your inner knowledge. If this video resonated, go ahead and hit that like button. If this video resonated and you need additional guidance and you would like to book a reading, Click my book in, in the about. If you would like to give a love donation, it's in the description. I'm wrapping my arms around y'all. I need y'all to fight. I need you to go within. That will of fortune is not going to move forward until you go within and you deal with this shit. And you stop playing with fire. I love y'all. Bye.